Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Brian Meredith and this is MT Marathi everybody. MT Marathi. Sandra Bland. Sandra Bland, Sandra Bland. Kings and Queens, Gods and Goddesses. Human beings all. Whereas I, I am not disputing Sandra Ban, uh, Bland's death, um, there are some people who have actually done that, who maintain and contend that this is just uh, there is no Sandra Bland, or you know this was this is a complete and utterly a hoax. I'm not saying that, but I am wondering if. Uh, those authorities which view themselves as the mystical makers, those destiny determiners, as Dr. King said, uh, have decided to use Sandra Bland's death in a psychological war or psychological operation. Could it be that the handling of this is all part of a national psychological operation to see what is going to be the response, what are going to be the characteristic patterns on social media in the internet of black people? Why would they do this? Occupy Wall Street, if we were to believe that it was a psychological operation, which there are, uh, there's enough evidence, I think, to say that there it was. Um, anonymous, even to an extent um, there has been incredible information released suggesting uh, that that indeed part of it was some kind of a psychological operation with now the links of George Soros to Black Lives Matter being uncovered the money that is flowing into this new movement It is not inconceivable, considering that we are getting ready to come into this time period of immense, immense, immense economic turmoil, that uh, to, to believe, it's not inconceivable to believe that this is just another psychological operation to see what is going to be the response of black people. Not only what is going to be the response, but who, who are the triggers, who are the people who are garnering individual support, who are those people who can be uh, motivated and moved in certain directions, who are those people who demonstrate that they cannot. Considering, considering, and this is something that I cannot believe I have not seen more people frustrated about, considering Wesley Clark just went on MSNBC last week and said there could come a time when we need to have internment camps for people who do not basically go along with the story. He said this. He said this. Of course, he tried to say, oh, well, it was the Germans who we put into the internment camp. Everybody knows that's a lie. They didn't put Germans into the internment camp. They put Japanese into the internment camp. Why did they put Japanese into the internment camp? Japanese look different than Germans do. Germans look too much like white people because they are white people. So they put Germans into internment camp. Then we go forward to... um. And I usually get this wrong, so forgive me, family, if I do the King Alfred plan. And what was the King Alfred plan? It was the same thing for black people. We are going to put black people into internment camps if they do not, if they do not go along with what we want them to go along with. If you do not believe me, you can actually look this up. This is not something that was created on the Internet, ladies and gentlemen. I have a program from... Uh, the late 80s, I might have even been, yeah, the late 80s, it was late 80s, and the, uh, a woman was talking about this plan, it was actually in a book, and the brother who wrote the book, it was actually a brother, said that that was the only way he can get the information out there, because he wanted to originally write it as part of a larger book um, on the black movement, and he was told, mm -hmm, you publish that as a real document, and, uh, done so he said okay I'll publish it as a fictional document they were okay with that see because 
free will is a given. You can either believe it or you don't have to. That's your choice. But, considering that this just happened, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready to enter a period, and this is something that black folks are not talking about, and we need to talk about it. We are getting ready to enter a period of intense economic turmoil. Intense. What you were seeing going on with the TPP, all of this, all of this, all of this was predicted. A couple of years ago, I started listening to lectures from LSE, that's the London School of Economics, and there was a conversation about a new financial infrastructure and I, it's that's not exactly what they called it but that's what it is and this conversation was taking place this lecture was taking place in 2008 I found an additional uh, podcast which might have been from 2010 or 11 and the individual was talking about his research which suggested that this new economic uh, this new international uh, financial infrastructure structure is expected or would be in place roughly around 2016 roughly around 2016 when you look at how the TPP is evolving now of course Obama has fast-track authority what does that tell you next year by the time the United States anoints its new president because we don't we are not picking the president ladies and gentlemen we're not picking the president unless there is a true insurgency and do not believe for a moment that Donald Trump is an insurgency he's a fascist they'd love to get Donald Trump into office unless there is a true insurgency and Bernie Sanders is not an insurgency we are not picking the president. The president has already been picked. Right now, they're testing polls to see if to see who's going to win versus Bush and Clinton. Those are the two preferred candidates. Trump is catching Bush. He might have even surpassed Bush already at the time of this. Of course, there's a year to go. But they already have it in their minds who they want as the next president and the next president is going to have to implement intense horrible austerity to make TPP work and they know this and they know this and so they're getting ready they're preparing right now they're trying to see okay who is going to be the troublemakers who are we going to have to get out there after who are going to be the people who we can use as pawns and get them into place I'm hoping I'm wrong ladies and gentlemen I'm hoping I am wrong but there is evidence which is it's 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 catching me every day and I'm we are not we're not keeping our eyes open on this and we need to we're not keeping up actually some people are and I don't I don't get this some people are suggesting okay we need to individually get our stuff together and run and get and, and be you gotta watch what the white folks are doing because white folks ain't doing nothing like that <laughs> we're doing what white people used to do instead of doing what we should be doing which is building community well that's what white people are doing they're doing what we used to do we need to be talking about building community but we are so afraid of talking about building community because white people have made us afraid of building community because white people have made us believe that we don't need community and we we've, we've bought into that time to break that programming those who will survive after the next ten years are those who can build community white people know it even if they're just building neighborhoods they are building structures which can survive after the next ten years black people need to start getting that back in our minds I'm talking to young people I'm talking to old people I'm talking to all the people this is what we need to be doing if we're not doing it then that's a problem and we have a problem right now because we're not doing it and indeed don't let me don't let me get white people off the hook because white people are promoting this they're promoting it if people within the community start standing up and saying well you know something we need to do X Y and Z white people over there saying well why don't you come and work for us we got this non-for-profit that's doing exactly what you want to be doing though non-for-profits have never done anything constructive for black people never ever 
when every time when they've tried to do something constructive for black people, the law comes in, reins them in, and says, oh no, you can't do that. That goes against this law. That goes against that law. Nonprofits are designed to not do what they specifically, or should I say, forget about specifically um, state, because some of them are designed to do what they specifically state, but they're not designed to ameliorate problems. They're not designed to solve problems. They're designed to basically capture a market and to maintain that market. That's what they're there to do. They don't solve problems, and we need to realize that. All these damn foundations and non what are they founding? What are they founding? What's growing from them? We need to get our minds right. It hurts me to say it, but I think Sandra Bland is just another, it's another part of this big jigsaw puzzle that they're trying to put in place to take us on when they, when, 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 when the house of cards come blowing down. Because it's gonna. There's economists after economists saying Wall Street's back to their old tricks. And this time it's worse. It hasn't even been a decade, and it's worse. We need to keep this in our minds now. We need to keep this in our minds. And don't believe for a moment that this, the Confederate flag thing, to me, it is meant to stoke people. It's meant to stoke up that element of whiteness. It's, a, it's all, it's this metaphysical plan, ladies and gentlemen, and we got to start seeing that. And we got to start seeing uh, There's a book which I would suggest everybody get their hands on. It's called, uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> there we go. The Nine Eyes of Light. It's time that we start returning ourselves to our true books, into our, into our true knowledge. Get that book. Start familiarizing yourself with your being, who you are, what you are, what comprises your being. That's the only way you're, that's the only way you're going to get through this. It's, Christianity has some good things, ladies and gentlemen, but it's time that we realize it only has some good things. You got to look outside of it. Um, I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, questions, comments, concerns, you can leave them all in the comment area. I look forward to hearing from you. Peace.